may our Father, the Messiah, and Holy Spirit be with us. This is going to be a beautiful video, brothers and sisters. I'm very thankful that our Father will me to be able to make this video. Let me put my phone to do not disturb so we can lock in. Okay, first, before we even touch on anything, the title of this video will be Demand Write the Bible? Question mark. God given talent? Question mark. Because you'll even see in sports and many other things, people will be like, that person had a God given talent. Like even comedians, they'll say, that person is just funny because that, that because of that god-given talent or whatever they're so athletic they have a god-given talent so people can have god-given talents and our father can give you something he can't give people what to say how to move and what to do start making this stuff make sense brothers and sisters you people can be obedient to your managers at work you can be obedient most are even obedient to their parents in the flesh you know you get good grades in school because your parents told you to do that right you know i met many of my friends like that will be obedient to our Father in heaven. And I was hearing a, t uh, a sister speak about this on another video, you know. How can you be how can you be obedient to a manager? How can you be obedient to, to, to even like me, myself? This has just humbled me and motivated me. I, I, I wasn't, I was being, I was being disobedient, but I'm, but I'm being humble to my coach. Whatever workouts my coach told me to do, I'm doing them. Whatever, you know, my personal trainer had me doing when I had a personal trainer, I was doing it. You know, like, anything that I, that I that I needed to do teacher telling me to do it you know some teachers I argue with some teachers I liked it better than others you know sadly you no know, respect the persons so I ask our father Messiah and Holy Spirit to forgive me for that because I certainly have respect the persons and I certainly liked it other people over others especially my family it's another reason why it says love our father Messiah and Holy Spirit more than your family because that's not going to get you into the kingdom of heaven for real for real so yeah so I ask our father Messiah and Holy Spirit to forgive me for that you know like gym teachers I liked over other gym teachers or whatever but I'm being obedient to these teachers in school right yeah the ones that were brainwashing us right sad for real for real be obedient to our father messiah and holy spirit understand the calling and take it let's get it even on the worldly level it's sad because we have to look about it look at it like this brothers and sisters sin is just bad like let's just replace the word sin for a second and just put bad there because these people know that what they're doing is bad and they're not supposed to be doing it for real for real but you see it comes to a point of where it just becomes these people with choice a and then b they feel like they're not stronger enough when we're not to battle by ourselves when we're not i remember talking to a brother about this as well talking about the depths of satan and he's looking all scared and stuff you know and you know i pray this brother gains more strength and i pray that he repents and i used to be scared of satan too for a long time brothers and sisters for a long time didn't understand that the, the fear of our father truly gain wisdom get understanding the beginning of wisdom is fearing our father in heaven got to understand the depths of our father as well and the depths of the messiah and how to just make this battle easier bro you could just call on our father in heaven stay on the phone with him bro you see sin you literally run away from it it's just bad it's bad things why would you want to just look at other women and lust all the time do you think that's good for you think that's really you think it's good to masturbate to women who don't even want to be having sex with these people you're looking at on the screen who, who this is sex trafficking you're looking at live in the flesh this is ridiculous understand this thing you think on these movies and these shows they're talking about demons and on these songs you think this is good you think being proud is good look up what that means how, how, we're speaking in a cursed language you think this language is good you think brainwashing your children is good you think that game they're playing is good you think that show they're watching is good i remember my dad coming in many times and like this show is stupid and i'm just like talking to my wife about this yesterday i'm like dad you still be watching it though <laughs> you know like should have turned it off you know and there's nothing not coming at my dad you know but just you could have turned that off pop you know <laughs> but yeah you know like i i love my dad you know but you know it's just real bro we just got to keep it real bro so yeah so our father already will just open up to the page to the book that we supposed to be at too all the books yeah we're gonna get into the video though brothers and sisters keep your eyes and your ears open we're gonna get it in did man write the bible god given talent let's let's dig into this let's let's figure this out brothers and sisters you know we you know we got to figure these things out right I had this question too and, and I feel like this is something that's keeping many people away from the kingdom of heaven if you could just drop one thing maybe for you it could be cursing if father willing would do a separate video on this um it could be just porn you can't drop for me it was like games I was prideful and it was it was like lust I couldn't do it I feel like I couldn't do it I'm like man I can't I can't do it I can't do it and our father's like boy if you don't take a seat boy if you don't relax boy if you don't call on me you got a father in heaven Calm down, going fast. Yeah, I was scared to fast, breaking fast. Yeah, he said, go sit down and fast. You didn't even read everything I said yet. 
<laughs> you know, like, what are you doing? Man, sit down. You dealing with sin? Sit in your house. Hey, yo, you may have to call off a few days of work. Hey, listen, I got to sit in my house right now. I got to sit in my house right now. Don't worry about this worldly stuff. I am dealing with sin. I don't want to go to the leg of... Man, keep it a bean with them on the phone. Yo, for real, for real, I'm dealing with sin, and I don't want to go to the lake of fire. I need to take a break off of this job, for real, for real. Hey, everybody around me, y'all got to chill out. I'm not popping out. I'm not going on the block right now, <laughs> you know. I'm not coming outside right now. I'm dealing with sin, and I don't want to die. I'm going to sit in the house, and I'm going to fast, even if it's just one day or two days. Even if you fast... You eat two days and you fast again and you just sit in the room, bro. And you put the correct things in your body and you beat the flesh into submission physically and spiritually. And you read all the words to this life and you just sit there, bro. You can do that for two weeks straight. Hey, I need to take a two week vacation. Father willing, he allowed me, bless me to, re to be able to read the New Testament in about, about two two weeks or whatever it was. Even if you kind of fly through that real fast and, th and then get a little boost and then go back and read the Old Testament because it's longer for real, for real. You mean get a little extra boost real fast. But hey, don't just be out here just losing every day. I can't be losing every day for real, for real. I have a son for real. I have a wife for real. I'm the man of this household. You mean Messiah is the head of me. Our father in heaven is the head of him. We got to get this stuff right for real, brothers and sisters. We cannot be going out here and sinning every day for real. Forget that, bro. Being bad, I never even liked it joining the bad team. Like, even on video games and stuff, I remember talking to my wife. It would always feel uncomfortable for me, even when I did. Like, if I were to just go to that team to check out the powers and stuff, I never liked it, those characters as much as the other ones. There's only a few other ones that I did like for real, for real. I don't want to be lying to you guys. But I know on the majority, especially as I got older, I always loved it just making the good characters for real, for real, even on the video games. And I remember it was games where it was like you would have, like, a karma level. You know, Father Masano, Holy Spirit, please forgive me for believing in that. But it was like a level of good and bad, even on games like Star Wars and this game called fable i used to play in a level would go up you know and i would always try to keep it good on the good side and if you get to a point where you're so good it's like your, your character is literally shining and if you go bad like even if you see on star wars like the character palpatine you can even just type him in and you know you don't have to watch it but just look how evil he looks and that's how evil your character look and that's even in real life when you see people and you can just tell that they're just living bad you know and it's sad and you can tell when somebody's living with the Ruach, for real, for real. And we have to stop playing with that as well. Brothers and sisters, if somebody has the Ruach HaKadosh, the same spirit as you, it's not nothing to talk about. Even if that brother or sister needs help, they have the Ruach. They have the Ruach HaKadosh. They're seeking for our Father's heart. We don't need to be harder on each other, brothers and sisters. We need to make this stuff easier, for real, for real. You mean? They're seeking our Father's heart. They have the Ruach. Chill out. Even people who don't have the Ruach, Okay, they're going to the lake of fire. What more is needed to be said about that? We pray that they repent. And if somebody has the Ruach, okay, their name is written down in the book of life. Let's go. It's motivation. It's nothing prideful. I had to ask our father to forgive me for being prideful. Forget that stuff, bro. Even with people who is, is going to the lake, sadly, unless they repent. You know, I was being prideful with them as well. Like I'm going somewhere that they're not going. But hey, that's not nothing to be boastful about. That's sad. They're going to the lake of fire unless they repent. That's disgusting. I was on my way to the lake of fire. I didn't even fully repent. I was making videos, talking all tough, like I'm really at a certain level that I'm not. I had to take a seat for real. Brothers and sisters, chill out. We need to understand what's real and what's really fake out here for real, for real. Ezekiel 18, 29. And the house of Israel have said, the way of our Father in heaven is not right. Are my ways not right, O house of Israel? Is it not your ways that are not right? Therefore, I judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, declares the master, our father in heaven. Repent and turn back from all your transgressions and let not crookedness be a stumbling block to you. Cast away from you all the transgressions by which you have transgressed and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. For why should you die, O house of Israel? He's asking you. He's asking you. He asked me. I wanted to kill myself. Why should you die? Oh, I see Israel. Why should you die, Israel? What are you doing? What are you doing? Our father told me way back then, stop. What are you doing? I got something for you. Why are you about to kill yourself? Dang, it can't be that hard. I wasn't even going through as much as these other people in these other third world countries and all this other stuff about to kill myself. For real, for real. Keep it a bean with yourself, for real. Man up. Woman up. Put on your mantle. Let's get it, bro. 
battle not even that hard. It's a blessing to be in this day and age. You can listen to another brother or sister, even on the workout level. Just get a bunch of workouts. They all online. Listen to the word. A bunch of studies is up for free. Like, come on, brother and sister. The Bible is here for free, for real, for real. If you have a phone, you can get the Bible for real, bro. Even if you have access to you, the Bible, bro, the Bible app is there. CDs, bro, that you can purchase, bro. It's books, bro. Bro, like, this thing is accessible, bro. Stop acting like it's not, bro. And turn up for the kingdom of heaven. Lest you die. For why should you die, O house of Israel? You can't fast not one day, no food, no water, and just do that twice a week? Messiah said we got to at least match the Pharisees and scribes. It's one of them that just did it twice a week. Every week. And it's benefits for the body. Come on, brothers and sisters. Don't make this stuff hard. It's going to be a scarcity of food regardless. So you need to prepare yourself for real, for real. Or you're going to fold for real, for real, bro. <laughs> like, for I have no pleasure in the death of one, who's di of one who dies, declares the Master, our Father in heaven. So turn back and live. Go and live. Our Father wrote on the tablets. Our Father wrote on things. Stop leaning on your own understanding and trying to figure this out yourself and shaking your head at, well, man even wrote that. We're going to get to what man does. Yeah, this guy's with God-given talent, right? Yeah, brothers and sisters with God-given talent in the scriptures. Prophets moved by the Ruach HaKadosh, moved by the set-apart spirit. Yeah, so these brothers are moved by the set-apart spirit. What makes you think that this stuff is fake? If you believe in God and God is telling you I wrote on something, how does that not click in your head? But Oh, but you believe that they say dinosaurs are real. Oh, but you believe everything they told you in school for real, for real. Oh, but you believe holidays are, are harmless. Oh, okay. Yeah, you believe everything that they told you for real, for real. How do you believe everything that man told you that we came from gorillas, apes, and all that, and there's 100,000 different planets and all of that filthy stuff, but you don't believe these words that I'm reading to you right here? Get that. I got the veil removed from my eyes. Please get the veil removed from your eyes. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is near. May our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit be with us. This is Shemaf 24. This is Exodus 24, 12. And our Father in heaven said to Moshe, Come up to me on the mountain and be there while I give you tablets of stone and the Torah and the command which I have written to teach them and the command which I have written. Our Father in heaven wrote that to teach them. You mean? Let's take it to Exodus 31, 18. Yeah. Yeah, let's debunk this stuff. Love it. Yeah, we dump. Our Father God is debunking stuff. Yeah, I would have loved to see these videos when I first woke up in the faith having all these questions that I'm all shaking in my boots. Is this stuff real for real? Man, our father was like, dog, how this stuff not real? You're breathing. <laughs> like, I'm like, facts, you know. Uh, so, yeah, Exodus 31, 18. And when he had ended speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moshe two tablets of the witness, tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim. Written with the finger of Elohim. So this means our Father in heaven wrote on something? What? And when he had ended speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moshe two tablets of the of the witness. Tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim. Written with the finger of God. Written with the finger of our Father in heaven. Written with the finger of Hashem. Written with the finger of our Father in heaven. <laughs> you know. So now let's take it to Deuteronomy 9, 10. Yeah, let's, let's figure out what's really going on, brothers and sisters. Let's... Let's figure out what's really going on. Yeah. Yeah, repent. The kingdom of heaven is near. Open your ears up. Look, let's see what's going on. Because people just don't want to be obedient. Nah, that was me. I know. Yeah, but you got to listen for real, for real. You're going to go to the lake of fire. And that's not where you want to go. Really think about eternal life. Messiah came back in the flesh. You want to go to the wedding? Come on, brothers and sisters. Just repent. The kingdom of heaven is near. You can join a team. And like I be talking to my wife, if you need help with something, brothers and sisters, think about this true brothers and sisters online. And our father will me to even make a Bible study playlist of other true brothers and sisters. Um, one of them isn't with us anymore. Father willing, he was taken by our father. You mean, it looked like he had the Ruach HaKadosh within him. But yes, as many information that he has on his page, and his name is Joseph Israel. I've gotten many, still many revelations that I get when I go to his page and many studies that he has on there, you know. Our, our brother Eliyahu, Francisco, and there's another sister that's in there as well. And there's other brothers and sisters that I be seeing as well that, Father willing, I want to link in there, you know, bearing fruit, you know, they're bearing good fruit, you know, and it's just a blessing, you know, to be able to learn from other brothers and sisters. And many of these brothers and sisters, they're open, you know, like even me, I leave my comment section open, 
you know, on some videos, some of them I don't. But, you know, if you want to have access to even talk to me, you know, I, I, I would tell you the first person you should be talking to is our Father, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit and just reading the Bible. And that's what I'm getting to closer to more and more each and every day of even just laying back at YouTube and fasting off of this stuff. Like even when you see me post a video, I try to like they're like the only time I'm really on here is when my video is uploading because I'm doing it off of my phone and I don't have Wi-Fi currently. So it takes a little bit longer for the video to upload. So I'll be on YouTube a little bit. Check out what the brothers and sisters are doing. Maybe look at a few workout videos or whatever as the video is uploading. But that's about it. You know, I'm trying to stay off of this stuff for real, for real. And just lock in more with real life for real. And just lean on our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit more. And I've really been leaning on faith a lot more lately. And it's been a blessing, you know. It's been a truly a blessing. But uh, Deuteronomy 9, 10. Then our Father in heaven gave me the two tablets. It says, Then our Father in heaven gave me the two tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim. And on them were all the words which our Father in heaven has spoken to you on the mountain from the midst of the fire and the day of the assembly. And it came to be at the end of 40 days and 40 nights that our Father in heaven gave me the two tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant. Then our Father in heaven said to me, Arise, go down quickly from here, for your people whom you brought out of Mitzrayim have acted corruptly. Mm. They quickly turned aside from the way which I commanded them. They had made themselves a motor image. Now, that stuff is just... So sad. So now we're going to Dan we're gonna go to Danielle, though. Danielle writing on the wall. Danielle... Five, one through five, and then Danielle five twenty, tw twenty through twenty Here we go. To Daniel 5, 1 through 5. Felt the shot stirred, the sovereign made a great feast for a thousand of his great men, and drank wine in the presence of the thousand. While tasting the wine, Belshatster, Belt, 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 <laughs> gave orders to bring the gold and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken from the Hekel, which had been in Yerushalayim, that the sovereign and his great men, his wives and his concubines, could drink from them. Then they brought the gold vessels that had been taken from the Hekel of the house of Eli, which had been in Yerushalayim, and the sovereign and his great men, his wives and his concubines, drank out of them. They drank wine and praised the, El El and praised the Elanin of gold and of silver, of bronze, of iron, of wood, and of stone. Mm. At that moment, the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote opposite the lampstand on the plaster of the wall of the sovereign's palace, and the sovereign saw the part of the hand that wrote. So, a fingers of a hands of a man's hand can just appear and write things. <gasps> yeah, it's real like that. Wrap your mind around it, <laughs> and if you can't, lean on our Father in heaven and don't lean on your own understanding. <laughs> so, Danielle five twenty through twenty four. But when his heart was lifted up and his spirit was so strong as to act proudly, he was put down from his throne of reign and they took his precious, precious preciousness from him. Then he was driven from the sons of men and his heart was made like the like the beast and his dwelling was with the was with the wild donkeys. He was given grass to eat like oxen and his body was wet with the dew of the heavens till he knew that the most high Eli, his ruler, his, his ruler in the reign of, of men and he's and he sets up over it whomever he hopes. Yeah. Amen. And you, his son, about the Shasta, have not humbled your heart, although you knew all of this. Mm. Sounds like many. It was me, you know. And you, I could put my name there. And you, his son, Dylan, have not humbled your heart, although you knew all of this. I knew many things, and I didn't humble my heart. Nah, be humble for real, for real. What is there to not be humble about? This life is a whole blessing. It's a whole experience. Everything down here is to be humble about. You know, like even when he was telling yo, do you know the measurements of the earth? Yeah. You don't <laughs> be humble, <laughs> you know. And you, a son, but the Shasta have not humbled your heart, although you knew all it. You knew all this, and you have lifted yourself up against the master of the heavens. And they brought before you the vessels of his house. And you and your great men, your wives and your concubines, have been drinking wine from them. And you have praised the Elhanin of silver and of gold, of bronze, of iron, of wood and of stone, which neither see nor hear nor know. But the Eli who holds your breath in his hand and owns all your ways, you have not made great. Then the part of the hand was sent from him, and his writing was inscribed. And his writing was inscribed. 
and then we have the Messiah works. The Messiah did our father's works. He said this is our father's works. So first we'll just touch on Luke eleven twenty. I kind of like to do these in order. Like all the scriptures are in order. Luke eleven twenty. But if I cast out demons by the finger of Elohim, then a reign of Elohim has come upon you. He said, but if I cast out demons by the finger of Elohim, then the reign of Elohim has come upon you. And then that that's also linking you back to uh, Shema'an, Exodus 31, 18. So let's, I never even looked at that. So let's see what 31, 18 is. Exodus 31, 18. Because he said, by the finger of Elohim. And when he had ended speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moshe two tablets of the witness, tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim. I oh, know we just read that one. I'm so funny. <laughs> Brother says, that's hilarious. But yeah, though. Yeah. That's, wow, that's how you know that's the Ruach HaKadosh. I, I literally didn't even peep that, that that was a scripture we had already read looking even at my notes because I had scrolled down. So we literally already touched on this. Like, yeah, that's how you know stuff is facts. And, we, and when he had ended speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moshe two tablets of the witness, tablets of stone, written with the finger of Elohim. Then Luke then Luke 11, that is beautiful. I love you, Father Messiah, Holy Spirit. Look at this stuff. With the finger of Elohim, bro. Hold on. I love looking at the truth, bro. Cause they really lied to us <laughs> like they really lied to us like that's so ridiculous how satan didn't even keep it a being like like this guy didn't even give us like let us know like he's a devil like he's really trying to masquerade as an angel of light like he's literally being fake like if you're on his team you're like you're literally fake like i was literally being fake you know i'll praise our father messiah holy spirit you know humbly speaking he's allowing me to be real because i'm they're real you know the messiah was real so if we're being like the messiah and we're being real I'm really speaking. I mean, but if I cast out demons by the finger of Elohim, then the reign of Elohim has come upon you. By the finger of our Father in heaven. This is beautiful. John 5, 19. John 5, 19. Oh, my goodness. I love the scriptures, like, so much. This is, I just, man. Brothers and sisters, I love our Father in heaven, the Messiah, Holy Spirit. I mean, okay, John 5, 19. Therefore, you should respond and said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the son of the son is able to do none at all by himself, but only that which he sees the father doing, because whatever he does, the son also likewise does. You see this? Therefore, you who should respond and said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, the son is not able to do none at all by himself. The son is not able to do none at all by himself, but only that which he sees the father doing. So Messiah is talking about our father in heaven doing because whatever he does the son also likewise does for the father loves the son and shows him all that he himself does and greater works than these he is going to show him in order that you marvel for as the father raises the dead and makes alive even so the son makes alive whom he hopes for the father judges no one but has given all the judgment to the son that all should value the son even as they value the father he who does not value the son does not value the father who sent him truly truly i say to you he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me possesses everlasting life and does not come into judgment but has passed from death into life truly truly i say to you the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of elohim and those having heard shall live for as the father possesses life in himself so he also gave also to the son to possess life in himself and he has given him him authority also to do judgment because he is the son of Adam. Do not marvel at this because the hour is coming which all those in the tombs shall hear his voice. and shall come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have praised, practiced evil matters to resurrection of judgment. Of myself, I am, I am unable to do any matters. Of myself, I am, I am unable to do any matter. As I hear, I judge and my judgment is righteous because I do not seek my own desire but the desire of the Father who sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. You have sent to Yohanan, and he bore witness to the truth. But, it, but I do not receive witness from man, but I say this in order that you might be saved. He was the burning and shining lamp, and for a while you hope to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of Yohanan for the works that the Father gave me to accomplish, the works that I do bear witness of, 
the works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me, and the Father who sent me, he bore witness of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form, and you do not have his words staying in you because you do not believe him who sent who, him, him who, whom he sent. You search the scriptures because you think you possess everlasting life in them, and these are the ones that bear witness of me. But you do not desire to come to me in order to possess life. I do not receive esteem from men, but I know you, that you do not have the love of Elohim in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, him you will receive. Mm -hmm. How are you able to believe when you are receiving esteem from one another, and the esteem that is from the only Elohim you do, you do not seek? Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moshe, in whom you have set, you, in whom you have set your expectation. For if you believe Moshe, you would have believed me, since he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how shall you believe my words? Mm. I mean, this is just, it's beautiful. Now, so I want to move by the rule of Kagadash. Let's go to 2 Peter 1.20 and 2 Peter 1.21. Mm -hmm. Debunking the devil. We love you, Satan. We love our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit way more. Love our Father in Heaven overall. Love our Father in Heaven with all our strength, all our mind, all our being, <laughs> all our might. Amen. Let's get it. So 2 Peter. Two Peter. One twenty. Yep. Actually, let's read the whole let's read the whole two two one Peter. Let's read the whole thing. Shema Kepha, a servant and emissary of Yahushua Messiah, to those who have obtained a belief as precious as ours by the righteousness of our Elohim and Savior Yahushua Messiah, favor and peace be increased to you in the knowledge of Elohim and of Yahushua our Master, as his mighty like power has given to us all we need for life and reverence through the knowledge of him who called us to esteem and uprightness. Through these there have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, so that through these you might be partakers of the mighty like nature, having escaped from the corruption in the world caused by lust. And for this reason, do your utmost to add to your belief uprightness, to uprightness, knowledge, to, to knowledge, self-control, to self-control, endurance, to endurance, reverence, to reverence, brotherly affection, and to brotherly affection, love. For if these, for if these are in you and increase, they cause you to be neither inactive nor without fruit in the knowledge of our of our master Yahushua Messiah. For he in whom these are not present in blind, for for he in whom these are not present is blind, being short sighted, and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his old sins. For this reason, brothers, all the more do your utmost to make firm your calling and choosing. For if you are doing these matters, you shall never stumble at all. So this means we can go and sin no more, because it says, for if you are doing these matters, you shall never stumble at all. Yeah. For in this way, an entrance into the everlasting reign of our Master and Savior, Yahushua Messiah, shall be richly supplied to you. And so I intend to remind you of these matters again and again, though you, though you know them and have been established in the present truth. But I think it is right as long as I, but I think it is right as long as I am in this tent to stir you up by a reminder, knowing that the putting off of my tent is soon, even as our Master Yahushua Messiah made clear to me. And I shall do my utmost also, and I shall do my utmost also to see to to see to it that you always have a reminder of these matters after my departure. For we did not follow cleverly the wise stories when we made known to you the power and coming of our master Yushua Messiah, but were, but were eyewitnesses of his uh, of his superbness. Mm. For when he received respect and esteem from Elohim the Father, such a voice came to him from the excellent esteem. This is my son, the beloved, in whom I delight. Delight is pleased. This is my son, the beloved, in whom I am pleased, in whom I did delight, in whom I did please, in whom I, I am pleased. This is my son, the beloved, in whom I did delight. And we heard this voice which came from heaven when we were with him on the set apart mountain. And we have the prophetic word made more certain, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place. Until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts, knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture came to be of one's own interpretation. Brothers and sisters, by fasting, you know, by praying, by studying, by reading, you know, it just, it's just, you get, you gain just these things, these things that our Father blesses you with by just working. And the work, it's like working at your job. 
this stuff not easy, bro. Like, you busting out eight-hour shifts, you busting out five-hour shifts, you got physical labor jobs. It's not easy doing it. But the benefits are cool, right? When you get your check, right? Our check, he blesses us here in ways, but our ultimate check, that's when we go to the kingdom of heaven. So understand that. Put the spiritual work in, and that's that's when you're going to get your payment. You know what I mean? That's when you're going to get your, your place. Our father, the Messiah said he got many mansions up there. It's a place for you, for real, for real. But you got to work. Like, and I said it before, this stuff is easier said than done. Like, bro, like, again, like, I can hop off here, and the devil could just, boom, it's just back to back, bro, all day long. He's tempting me back to back, 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 back to back. You feel me? Like, that's how it could be. But we got to stand firm in the faith for real, for real, and understand that a father, he tells you it's going to be an outlet every time for sin, bro. It's an outlet every time, bro. You have to sprint away from that stuff. You have to run away from that stuff because even on a worldly level, it's bad. It's nothing good about sin. It's nothing good about that stuff. It's nothing good about it at all, for real, for real. They want to tell you that masturbating is good. They want to tell you, listen to song. all that stuff is good. We know for sure that stuff is bad for real, for real. Even when I was in the world, I talked about how bad it was with many different people. So for me to get into the body and think that I could be doing these things is very incorrect, for real. Even playing the game all day, even just a bunch of stuff, for real, for real, bro. It's just you got to move on from that stuff. And, you know, we got to move on, for real. And literally leave the world behind, you know. I had the world there. You put your word there. I had the world there. You put your word there. Facts. I mean, for prophecy never came by the desire of man. For Listen to this. For prophecy never came by the desire of man. But men of Elohim spoke being moved by the set-apart spirit. For prophecy never came by the desire of man. Never came by the desire of us. But men of Elohim spoke. Being wooed by the set apart spirit. So now we have the answer. Who wrote it? <laughs> you know, our Father in heaven. I love you all, brothers and sisters. Pray you all well. Pray this video is edifying for you. I got edified of it. You know, it's just a blessing to even learn as you're teaching, you know. And that's even a heavy thing for me, for me to even say. It's a teacher to help to a higher standard. And I was talking to my wife about this, how I was. I was scared of this thing, but I can't be scared of my position. Even And it was affecting me even on a worldly level. I mean, being a personal trainer, it had me just moving differently. But, you know, our father blessed me to learn the things that he allowed me to learn from literally working, bro. So, and just doing this stuff every day and, and literally putting sin to, to the side. You know, I like I tell my wife nowadays, and if I come across any other brother and sister and do you all, I literally don't even have time to sin anymore. I don't have time for that. You, you, you know, write down what you need to get done. Just period, you feel me? I'm in debt, <laughs> you know, like, it's many things I got to get done, brothers and sisters. I can't play around with this stuff, bro. My son got to eat, bro. Rent got to get paid, bro. I got to beat my body into submission. I'm more worried about even, like, my clients. So asking our father to give me new revelations on even workout stuff so that I can get people the perfect workouts that they're going to see benefits from. You mean the perfect, bro, it's a bunch of stuff, brothers and sisters. Like, I can't even put it all on the table. It's a lot that our father got me doing for real, for real, that I'm really peeping. I got a lot to, to catch up on, like, with fasting, bro, with praying, bro, with reading the Bible, bro, like, a bunch of stuff I got to catch up on, for real. Felt like I was sleeping, you know? Definitely was, you know? And our father definitely had to wake me up. Just put my headphones on the charger. And he definitely, he definitely, you know I mean, got me, got me locking in, woke my head up, bro, let me know, like, dog, you got a whole bunch of work to do, bro. It's just so, it's, it's no time to even talk, bro. It's only time to work, for real, for real. So it's a blessing that he's allowing these things to be in motion and allowing these things to happen. So peace and love, brothers and sisters. I'm actually about to get a great workout in right now. Father willing, you will see that video, this workout that I'm about to put up. Father willing, he will bless my hands and my feet and allow me and my wife to enjoy our day. Thank you, Father Messiah and Holy Spirit, for allowing us to breathe. Thank you, Father Messiah and Holy Spirit, for allowing me, allowing me to make this video. I was a sinner, dog. I certainly wasn't a winner, you know. My father is blessing me to be on the winning team. Uh, you like, brothers and sisters, I can't even explain how much of a blessing that is. He's allowing us to be on a winning team for real, for real, bro. He could have really let me be on a losing team all the way up until I died or the way I was acting, dog. I'm screaming to the sky because I can't get sex during some days, bro. I'm out here selling drugs. I never even was raised like this, bro. And I remember talking to somebody at work right, like that. He's like, 
Dog, I wasn't even raised like that. I'm like, bro, who are you telling, bro? I'm out here selling drugs. I got guns on me, bro. I'm fighting people, bro. I was never raised like that. I didn't even get into my first fight until I was like 18, 19 or something like that. Like my first, like how does that even sound? Because that, that, people that was really in that environment, they fight all the time like it's nothing. I didn't even get into my first real fight for real, like not no brothers, like somebody I don't even know, you know I mean, until I'm grown, bro. Like that just lets you know right there I shouldn't even have been doing that, bro. Like talking to my father, like dog, I'm sitting here beefing with people who are, I'm not even like that for real, for real. So I can't even say they wasn't like that. We both wasn't like that for real, for real. This lets you know we both not supposed to be doing this. Because if we would have been getting into this type of thing with somebody who was like that, I certainly would have died. You know, I even got shot at and our father saved me. I'm still in this stuff. Like, he, he's not blessing me and stuff. You know, like, guys is overdosing around me. It's sad. People around me is getting addicted to stuff. And I'm just going with it, you know, not even understanding that this is not where I'm supposed to be at all. Rest is for real. You know, my father's putting this battle to a rest. Coming soon, for real, for real. He's really coming soon. Like, you know, I, I, used, I remember I used to watch trailers. Like, even like Avengers, I was for Endgame, right? Yeah, yeah, it's about to be the Endgame for this world, for real, for real. I remember I was so hyped about that movie. I had to ask our father, Masano, Holy Spirit, to forgive me for that. I saw it like three, four times, like five times. Then I was like, in the movies, I, I just kept seeing it over and over again. I'm like, I couldn't wait for this to come out. Yeah, now I can't wait for our father, Masano, Holy Spirit, to come back. Yeah, that's the movie for real, for real. This is movie in real life. This is a movie for real, for real. <laughs> Understand what the movie clip is for real, for real, brother and sister. This is really a real life clip for real, for real. Yeah, that's why I'm in love of life even more. I'm like, yo, this is really the movie for real, for real. Like, father, I'm like, I really was in some whole other stuff. Like, like you really not the whole movie clip for real, for real. Like, real life really not cool for real. Like, meeting people really isn't a blessing for real, for real. Just, just to even be able to hear other people's voices and to hear other people talk differently from you was a blessing to me. You know, like, even if you feel like you did, man, just move out your area. People, people be standing in the same area their whole life, bro. I mean, you can even move like an hour away, 30 minutes away or something. Stop making it hard, bro. Like, people be making this stuff so hard down here, bro. Like, the battle is already hard. I father put this on my heart many different times. Like, son, the battle is already hard. Dog, what are you making it harder for? <laughs> like, it's like, it says in the scriptures, like, it's like going into the house of the woman, the, 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 the doctor's woman. Like, I can't tell you how many times I did that. And then try to be like, I'm not going to sin. Dog, you already walked in the house, bro. Let's stop walking in the house for real, for real, and just leave that joint alone. Because <laughs> if we stop walking in the house, bro, if, you know I mean, and don't be trying to look at it, you know, don't turn around like uh, Lot's wife, you know, you want to see what's going on. Nah, I'm not trying to see what's going on. <laughs> Abba told me to get out of there. <laughs> I'm getting out of there, bro. Like, I'm not playing with that, bro. He told me to leave, for real, bro. I'm cool, bro. He told me to leave. What is there for me to look back for, bro? I'm out, bro. You know, peace and love. May our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit be with us.